Hi and welcome back to episode 4. Today I am so excited to get starting but let's get going here. Okay now that we're loading in let's recap from yesterday. So we went out we killed our first native so we got our first little notch in the post which is perfect to be honest. Uh, and then the universe got us back almost like 10 seconds later with a jaguar so um, yeah that was uh, refreshing and a good reminder that we're only human in this game and if we die that's it game over we are playing in the hardest difficulty which is green hell mode which is quite nice so this is our let's play series we've got so far all our of all <laughs> four, four total episodes if you count this one so we're not too far in but I'm really quite excited for the series and I can't wait for like day 200 and we've got an empire running okay let's uh, sleep it's actually really early in the morning two o'clock so let's just look at what we need here well, nothing's gonna kill us let's just sleep it off have a good early morning get into routine so we're gonna wake up at 10 o'clock which is more than fine honestly I've been wanting to reset the routine of the guy in the game for a while so now that we've got good 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 looking energy let's go and drink our food and eat our Drink our water and eat our food. Oh, my dyslexia definitely gets me sometimes. I try my hardest not to let it slip through in every single conversation and sentence my brain, my brain tries to structure. But um, yeah, I can't avoid it. And honestly, I never really would want to. So, But let's get going and just see what we can get because we really need fats and... The only way I can think of fats and protein right now is, honestly, I don't know. I have stuff here on the drying rack, so we are more than okay. But I was just, I was just, yeah, I was thinking of other things. This doesn't give fats, so this will sort the protein out. But we're going to have to start this fire. Sorry, that was just a shortcut for me because I'm lazy. Okay, let's start the fire. And then we can use the pickery meat gives us a lot of fat. Because they're wild boar basically, your I'm gonna actually have to turn the ga in game volume down. Just give me a second to ignite this. Okay, sorry for you guys, but we are definitely just turning that off. Uh dialogue off. Yeah, sorry. I do not need swearing on fat in the game, so we'll just get rid of that and just leave it like that. Much better. Okay, so we should survive. Let that cook up. Let's go find the anti-parasite mushroom that I was actually looking for. Oh, it's going to rain, but hey. It rains, it rains. And this, so like if we die, there is absolutely nothing you can do. The, this world just goes to, goes to oblivion and we start again. I almost still on that poor mouse. I'm just being careful because, yeah. Yesterday's Jaguar attack was excessively detrimental to my mental health. I was had my heart was racing. I know it didn't look like it, but my heart was my heart was racing. Okay, these cappy bars don't really give as much fat. I don't know. Honestly, I could be wrong. I could be right. Oh, perfect. Do you know these actually minus parasites? So I'm actually gonna name these. Uh, spiky, spiky fruit, because they're really good to have. Okay, um, oh, there you go. Perfect. Where's the other one? There it is. Okay, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna what are we gonna name these? Um, uh, just nuts, nut. Might as well. Okay, there's a pickery right here somewhere. Or Pisces or whatever, I don't know. However you choose to say it. Um Hmm. Okay, this one's not looking at me. So I don't know. I'm just gonna get a little bit ahead and smack him in the eyeballs. Get his friend and get his friend up and over there. Nice. Okay. Collect the arrows, collect all the meat. <laughs> That was awesome. Definitely smashed it out there. 
Um, we're going to probably overfill ourselves, yeah? Okay, it's the nature of the game. I mean, you just destroy things, don't drop it on the floor. Okay, yeah, instantly we're just going to have to destroy this. But um, in a few days, so technically a few episodes, we're going to get a really good medical house going, like a little, just a house that we sort out all our medicines, and that we will need a lot of bone soup for. Because bone soup is the go-to. It's just the best. Personally, can't live without it. Because you get so many bones from harvesting from an animal. So it's just worth it. And look at that. We're actually pretty full up on on the meat. I just wanted to... I was, I was literally about to say... Probably a good idea to see if I can get some of these energy shrooms. Because we've already burned through quite a significant portion of our energy for today. Let's just reorganize our backpack. Okay, there should be like a nice Brazil nut or something here. Like, I don't know where it is. Um, anyway, let's go back to the base and get ourselves all sorted out. What's the time? Uh, huh. It's one o'clock. We're still good. That's excellent. Sorry, I fell off that. Oof, my volume's a bit loud on the headset. Okay, let's go. Luckily, there hasn't anything big and bad spawned yet. Trust me, you'll know. You'll hear it. The problem is they just charge you, especially if you have your weapon out. So, And that's when you see when your stamina goes red like, oh, no. Okay, no one saw that. And like... So, like you see, this is where YouTube's fun because, like, you could cut videos and stuff like that. But I don't do cuts since this is also hardcore. I don't feel like cuts are necessary. Like at the end of the day, they're they're as far from necessary as it, as you get. So we're just gonna swim back here and act like it never happened. I probably burnt our meat, by the way. Ah, cooked. Oh, parasite. Doesn't matter. I'll get the two parasites and eat this. Math. <laughs> Math. It works. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine relying on that in nature. I wouldn't. I mean, technically, any fruit that has antiparasitic properties that you put into a little broth or something would actually do exactly that. You could eat whatever you want, and it would make sure that whatever it is you've been eating will not really affect you. I'm going to cook some of the stuff like this, but... Now look at us, we're, we're boiling with the meat, eh? We've got all the meat here. Okay, let's just destroy this and destroy these anti-parasite mushrooms. I want to harvest this because I needed seeds. Like, we're going to just grow this instantly. We're also going to harvest th these. Unknown fruits. Unknown fruit needs a name. All right. If, so if I spelled that wrong, someone tell me. I don't think I did. <laughs> Honestly, don't think I did, but anyway, um, we don't need anything. I don't see. Okay, while all our meat cooks up and everything does that, let's look what we got here. So, for our first base, I suspect the best idea would be one of these floating frames. So let's get a floating frame. Does it have to be bamboo? Yeah, it has to be a bamboo. Okay, so we can't do the floating frame until we get the bamboo. But that's fine, because you can grow bamboo, if I'm correct, and once you just find a few pieces, and I don't know where some is. Okay, so if we're not doing bamboo, we're just going to do one that's out the water. Uh, we'll start with these frames. So, can we still do it? Yeah, we can still do it. Okay, that's perfect. As long as we can still do this, let's find where's the best spot to start. Okay, so sorry, I'm just looking around here, getting a good like vantage point of this area. Okay, so if we do this, uh huh, interesting. Okay, interesting. I'm just making sure I can get the absolute best out of this. I don't really know. I think think to be honest with you 
before we build something like that, we can just upgrade our little survival shelter type vibe. And it'll allow us to just go find a much better building spot. Um, no, we don't. We haven't really got much at all, you know. Did not mean to pick that up. Okay, let's go because we have a little bit of time here. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna burn our food. Okay, let's not go. I wonder how it is looking. Oh, it was about to get cooked. Look at that. Okay. Um, uh, put this piece there. And we'll just eat this. Okay. Come on, let's head out again. I just wanted to go grab a little bit of some resources that I haven't really got yet, but it is vital to get some of these things, so I just need to do this. And I can actually drink this first, just to give myself the do I not have any rope? Um Oh Trevor. Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. You need rope when you when I craft that. Sorry, I've just put my stats on for you guys. I'll turn those off in a second. Actually, if anyone's curious about my statistics on my computer, there you can have a look at the top CPU. So I'm running Windows 10, because I just prefer it. Uh, Intel, I've got an i990K. There's 3.6 gigahertz processor, 16 cores. I've got an RTX 2080 Super. I've got uh, da -da -da, nothing else, nothing else. RAM, 131 gigabytes, because there's a bit more, but yeah. Anyway. That's about it. Anything else that anyone wanted to look at there, they can just look at themselves. Oh, you guys can zoom in. Oh, you can't because um, the camera's in the way there. Sorry about that. That was my um, blah moment. But I at least read them out for everyone. So This is actually what I came looking for because I was out of bird nests. Don't really need feathers. Oh, scorpion. Where'd that go? Oh, it's not a scorpion. Anyway, kill that. Let's just be real. This is a maze, and I have no idea where I'm going. But I also do know exactly where I'm going, so I shouldn't lie to people. I can't wait to come build a base out here by this little lagoon. Also, the reason I say I don't know where I'm going is because this is just purely off memory, so I could get lost very easily. Like, don't. This bow is also going to die, so before I go in there, I should probably just grab two extra ropes. And we're going to rely on our spear for a second. Okay, so if anyone knows where we are, we're in an amazing cave. Okay, okay, okay. You. That's a big one, and I can't. Apparently, I'm as inaccurate as they get. What am I doing? The spider is annoying me. And it's Where'd you come from, Daddy? Chill. Yo. And I'm. Annoyed with the spider. Wait. Okay. The hitbox on that guy is keeping. What was that? What was all, what was any of that? Like, I I actually saw the guy's feet. Okay, we're gonna just harvest this up. That was scary. Um. Okay, let's get this guy, see if he didn't have anything interesting with him. Look at that arrow through the side of the head there. Damn. <gasps> oh, I thought I saw. Okay, let's destroy this, because you do not want to carry that around. 
Um, bones, that's what I was looking to destroy. You have a lot of things to destroy. Okay, and then did we pick up everything? It looks like we did. Okay. I actually came for a tribal bow, so... Got him. Okay. Before their friends come back. Because they just went on that tribal party. So I need to actually harvest these guys as fast as possible. Before all their friends come back and realize what I've done. None of them looked like they had tribal bows, which is quite a problem because we're also about to lose our bow. Ha. Ah. Okay. Now that we've got a tribal bow, I feel a little bit safer. But we have to get these bones destroyed as fast as possible because um, having our way tended is dangerous. And I can honestly hear footprints around me footprints I can hear footsteps I can't hear footprints <laughs> footprints to see not heard <laughs> anyway okay come on quickly before they come back and can we just rate the headshots are on an unbelievably impressive rate right now we nailed all those guys okay and yes the waste of pure resources in this is okay I think we got everything what is that a stick did that guy have a stick as a way? <gasps> oh, best knife in the game, hands down. Look what we just got, guys. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. You can't craft that. Only the uh, tribal people can craft that. So, okay, what are we doing? Are we going to run back to our base or are we going to push into the unknown? I missed that. Come run at me, run at me, run at me, run at me. Still good. He's still good. They take a couple shots. If you see headshots are what you need. I'm out of arrows. I actually ran out of arrows there. I um, I could have gotten us in a very bad situation. Oh, that was funny. Okay, let's just uh, destroy these uh, weapons and people. Okay. We are definitely pushing pushing against these cannibals. Our idea of uh, conquering against the tribesmen is definitely <laughs> on the way of success. Of course, they respawn, but um, nothing you can do about that. That's, that's a perk. And I saw three of them leave, and I think we only killed two people. Anyway... I'm not going to eat that. I'll make myself sick. Look how beautiful this little lake is here. Definitely nice idea to come one day and maybe make a little outpost here. Because it's right by the cave. I mean, we're going to build a big base here in this cave. I promise you, by day 100, there's going to be one hell of a base in this cave. Just because I said so now in episode 4. Come on, let's grab this leech off of us. Because leeches are just... Okay, I can't actually get that leech off. That's very frustrating. Let's just get out the water. Oh, it's off of us. Anyway. Okay. I think if we had... What's the time? Okay, it's 8 o'clock. Let's head back to the base. Let's just see. I do... Okay, like... I've had at least a couple hundred hours of playing in this game. So, I might not necessarily know where I'm going. But, I have a minuscule... And when I say minuscule, I mean minuscule understanding of the map. And thank goodness my sense of direction is really good. Okay. Apparently I turned the volume down to a point where I actually can't hear 
hear these guys or see them um, okay that's gonna just be a problem that we'll just go back to our base for if we burn the spiders um, I want this I need this I don't want to get stung by the bees let's just skip out the bees because we got three fever oh actually while we're in here for those who don't know in these caves you see these roots ahead of us they actually grow a mushroom on them now there isn't any on them right now but they grow a mushroom and that mushroom actually looks like we just got the bees on us anyway but it's not an issue we're gonna have to go handle the poison wound and stuff first just want to check if there's any mushrooms here no, there isn't any but they're basically fever mushrooms in my opinion okay what's the time okay it's almost 10 o'clock so we have to get to bed that's probably the best thing what are we running out of nothing I like that we're keeping a good track on our nutrition other than that there's not really much you can do I'm just gonna jump in here it's just honestly um, I was just in the mood for a swim. I like swimming sometimes. Okay. The fire is dead, so we need to inspect ourselves. Okay. Now, I don't want it to get infected. Okay, now our health's gone up, and now. Okay. The best thing we can do now is drink. If we drink some water, that should help us with the fever. Okay, that's that. Now, I need ash. So if I take this, I don't know if it has to be the ash or if it has to be a burnt spider. But I'm sure I can do this and do this. Craft this. And this should work on our spider bites or our s sting or whatever it Okay, so it doesn't work. So, um, we are in a in a pickle. Um, okay, we're basically having to go and find ourselves. I would rate tobacco would probably be the best um, solution to this pro right now. If we can find the tobacco plant, it'd probably be the best. Uh, it's about to rain. I'm also stressing about jaguars. Ah, it's a lily plant, so that's. It's n I think this is either the lily flower, or the unknown dread thing, but this is um, the unknown flower that comes with it. Um, creates a lily dressing, and that's it's one of the best in the game. And then here, so you got to just have a very good awareness of the plants around you. And if you do have a good awareness of the plants around you, this jungle is going to keep you, it'll keep you going for a very long time. Okay, uh, see, so this you're going to craft up with this unknown flower. Um, cancel. I didn't mean to do that. Not this one then. It's a different one. Ah, it is this one, but it's the leaf. See, I just remembered it being the plant. Okay, let's inspect ourselves. This should sort us out. See, like I said, if you know the plant, you'll figure it out. But sometimes you get it wrong, like I just did now. And before we pass away, because we're about to die, literally, um, we're actually going to pass away. So, oh, no, now we're not. We're healed. There you go. It's just the fever. So that we can push through a little bit. But we've survived the poison. So we extracted it from our system. Okay, let's just wash ourselves and give it a nice big gulp of water we probably need one more yeah okay uh, carbs uh, where are we gonna get some carbs from we're not because it's midnight and honestly after that day we got ourselves some really good new weapons so I'm just gonna swap these spears put the bow 
excuse me. Put the bow there. And that's it. I mean, looking at the beautiful sky, I'm going to take my screenshot. And I honestly just want to lie down for bed for the night. We need to save. And I just want to take this moment to just thank everyone so much for watching. Episode 4 was honestly a really fun one. We destroyed the villages, which was really, really good. But let's head to bed. And honestly, from here, we're going to just call it night. And then I'm really glad that everyone so far enjoying the series. Thank you so much for watching.